Alrighty, I'm doing a second bread. It, this one is the butter crust sandwich bread. The other one was the simple white bread. So this is butter crust sandwich bread. So this one, of course, dry yeast, three cups of flour. Of course, I keep getting these small ones because with everybody, it seems to be wanting to be baking bread or making bread at home. So all I can find are the small ones. So I've been buying the small bags of flour. So any type of flour, sugar, salt. This one asks for milk. It says fat-free, but I have low fat. Then of course, spray. Um, and then sugar and salt. Oh, and melted butter. Alrighty, we'll start. All right, this is for the butter crust sandwich. So this time, I'm not gonna forget the sugar, the yeast. Okay, I just put the yeast in here, and then, Yeast and sugar. Now the warm milk. Now we let it sit for five minutes again. Right back. Five minutes. Half. Okay, this looks so much better. I don't know. The first one with the simple white um, bread. I don't know. It's not rising. Maybe I ruined the yeast. Anyhow, so that's uh, so this is sugar, yeast, and more milk. Now we're gonna add three cups of flour. This is measured out. This is already measured out. Two cups. And then add the salt. Okay, pretty much a soft dough. And I f forgot to mention, I added the butter. Oh my gosh, I hope I didn't ruin this. I'm such a newbie at all this. Alrighty, so first time making homemade bread anyways. So this is again for the butter crust sandwich bread. Now I'm gonna put this on, we're gonna start kneading it. And then if you have a mixer, I'm sure this is easier to do it on a mixer. Oh, those heavy duty mixer, but I just did it by hand. To mix it. Alright. Okay, now I'm kneading it in. I mean, on. Flour to surface. This one seems to be a little tougher than the first one. I ruined this one. I added the butter a little. So this is the, the leftover quarter cup of flour. So I start adding about a tea, tablespoon at a time. Oh, I have so much left. So get the picture. 
Okay, so it's nice and smooth. I'm supposed to have kneaded it for about eight minutes. I think I did a little bit more. Okay, so this is a greased um, bowl. I'm just gonna turn it so all of it is kind of coated. Um, the dough is coated with milk. And we're gonna cover it and leave it covered for 45 minutes in a draft warm place, about 85 degrees it says, um, for about 45 to an hour and let it rise double in size. Alrighty. Okay, so this is the second one. This is the butter crust loaf. Um, I just took it out and uncovered it and tried the indentation. It, was, it has risen. It has risen. I put two fingers down to test if it's risen enough. And if the indentation remains, it, it is good to go. Now we can punch it. I have my daughter do the honor. Just punch down, babe. Yep, just like that. Perfect. Now we let it we let it rest for five minutes. This one's a lot shorter duration. The other one is taking a bit long, longer. All right, good. Five minutes it is. I guess I should have just looked this up how to actually do this. I'll put this on the seam side down. The seam side down. Cover again. Okay, so I covered it now in a warm place, free from draft for 30 minutes or until it's double in size. Okay, this is for the butter crust bread. Okay, so this one is the butter crust loaf. Look at how nice, how nice it has risen. I'm gonna cover this. Drizzle. This one asked for. I ended up putting by accident. Didn't realize when I made this loaf, I put the entire two tablespoon butter. I was actually supposed to put one tablespoon butter in the mix and then save the other tablespoon to drizzle it on top. Let me spread this over. Wow. It's the butter crust loaf. Just finish glazing this with butter on top of it. Now this is going to go in the oven for 30 minutes at 400 degrees. All right, see you in 30 minutes. All right, so this is the butter crust. <laughs> I'm supposed to slice it deeper so it opens up. Butter the topping, uh, those split top butter loaves. Anyways, look how delicious this looks. Smells so good too. So it, was, it didn't quite do 30 minutes because it says when the bottom is brown, that's why I use this glass one, opposed to the metal one. And then if it taps, hollow. So this smells so good. So I'm going to let this cool. And I'm gonna do it side by side. Alrighty, see you soon. Well, I think this was a semi-success in baking bread for the first time. So I'm quite happy with it. Alright everybody, happy baking.